I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com and I'm here in La Quinta, California for NARIT's 2013 Leader in the Light Working Forum. Joining me is one of the forum's participants, Sherry Brown, Director of Environment and Sustainability with Warehouser. Sherry, when we hear sustainability talked about, a lot of times we instantly think of office properties or other commercial property types. But your company, a timber REIT, it's a little different. It's in kind of ingrained into your, your core fabric. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The core of our company is our land and forest, and so we take seriously our role of being responsible stewards. So we plant trees, and eventually we harvest those trees and make all kinds of useful products to everyday lives, like shelter and personal hygiene and energy. And after harvest, we replant and begin the cycle again for the next generation. And so it's really that long-term view coupled with delivering short-term results across our pillars of people, performance, and planet that is the definition of sustainability embedded in Warehouser's DNA. The last time we spoke, you discussed some ambitious goals that the company is set to achieve by 2020. Now, can you update us on the progress that you've seen there? And also, in what ways are you able to measure the success of those initiatives? Our vision is to deliver superior sustainable solutions to the world. And so to achieve that vision, we've uh, developed a comprehensive set of goals out to the year 2020, and then we measure track and report our progress against those goals annually. And so far, we've been able to make good progress in reducing not only our environmental footprint, but also de developing new uh, business and product lines that have environmental benefits. So first, over on the environmental footprint side of things, uh, we've been able to reduce our absolute greenhouse gas emissions by 31% using a 2000, year 2000 baseline. Uh, our pulp division has reduced their water use by 19% since year 2000. Um, we continually work on improving our energy efficiency, reducing our dependence on fossil fuels, and we certified our headquarters building to the Green Globe's Green Building Standard. And then finally, we've maintained um, third-party SFI certification for all of our Timberlands. Switching over now to the new business and product line side of things, um, we have, for example, our wood products business that is helping builders construct new homes using more energy efficient materials and techniques with our new insulated series product line, which delivers um, higher insulation values and reduces thermal bridging. Um, moving to our five home building subsidiaries, we continue to offer the Living Smart program on all new homes that we build. And so the Living Smart program is a combination of features that um, create energy efficiencies, conserve natural resources, improve air and uh, water quality, and also reduce water consumption. And so, for example, our Living Smart homes are designed to be 15% more energy efficient than local code. And then finally, in our pulp division, we have an exciting new product line called Thrive. And um, with Thrive, we are working to develop new plastic composites using cellulose fibers from our trees that could replace fiberglass in things like auto parts. And so not only do these Thrive compo composites um, take less energy to manufacture, they're also lighter weight than fiberglass, so potentially enabling lighter weight vehicles to consume less fuel in the future. How actively does your company promote your sustainability efforts and what response have you gotten from your shareholders? Well, we produce an annual sustainability report that has comprehensive information about our sustainability performance on our website. We also include information about our sustainability performance in our presentations to investors and we respond to analyst inquiries. Um, I would say that our investors seem to appreciate our attention to both long and short term risk and opportunities. And we're really pleased to be included in the Dow Jones Sustainability World Index, as well as a number of other indices and recognition programs that have a sustainability focus. And what would you say is the biggest challenge you face in your role at Warehouser on a day to day basis? Well, you know, society and innovation continue to progress at a very rapid pace. And we also continue to evolve how we think about sustainability and how we apply sustainability to uncover business opportunities and risks. And so I'd say keeping ahead of that curve while still pursuing um, excellence and innovation and leadership with our, within our industry is a challenge that's not only in front of me, but in front of all of our warehouser employees on a daily basis. And lastly, what do you see as the next stage or evolution in the area of sustainability? Well, for the business world in general, I'd say that I think that sustainability mindset will be incorporated in into the way business is done, rather than being a separate standalone program. Um, I think sustainability will become second nature over time. As for my company, we'll continue to innovate to provide society with in sustainable products uh, based on trees, as we've been doing for more than 100 years now. Uh, because at Warehouser, we live by this simple truth. 
that a single tree won't last forever, but a forest can. Sherry, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.